Hi everyone, welcome to my channel dedicated to everything mysterious, legendary and mythical. In my first video, I will be discussing something very close to home. Home being KwaZulu-Natal, KZN, in South Africa. I grew up in the city of Pietermaritzburg, but now I live in Umschlanga, Durban. I recently came across this fascinating legend from Howick Falls. Now, Howick is situated in the Midlands Meander. The Meander is an area in KZN that contains a collection of tourist spots along a route that stretches between the Drakensberg and Pietermaritzburg. Howick is a 20-minute drive from Pietermaritzburg, and when I still lived here in PMB, the very quaint, picturesque tourist town of Howick was a regular weekend getaway for us. Central to Howick's popularity is its falls. If you are ever in South Africa and decide to pay a visit to the province of KwaZulu-Natal, you should definitely include the Midlands Meander in your itinerary, especially if you love nature and history and artisanal foods. Definitely a must. Now on to the topic of this video. If there's one thing I noticed about my home country is that there are a lot of myths that involve snakes of some sort. I will explore more of these in later videos, but today I want to talk about the Inkanyamba. The Inkanyamba translated basically means a tornado serpent. It is said to have a serpent's body and a horse-like head, although one witness sketch that I've seen makes it look like it has the head of a tortoise. It is believed to reside at the base or at the lake of Howick Falls. The Inkanyamba is sometimes blamed for storms in the area, as well as for the disappearance of children near the lake. Howick Falls is a well-known suicide hotspot, and this mythical snake is sometimes blamed for this as well. In 2008, Animal X did a documentary on the Inkanyamba. You can still watch parts of it on YouTube if you wish. It featured many eyewitnesses, including a man named Bob Teeny, who claimed to have taken a photo of it. From the photo, this being resembles a place or so, and some can even compare it to Scotland's Loch Ness Monster. Now, I've tried to look for the origins of this myth. This legend is attributed to Zula and Oza culture, as Sangomas in the past have often made sacrifices to this great serpent. But I could only find recorded sightings dating back to the 1960s. Now, is the Inkanyamba real? Or is this just a superstition? Now, I'm not saying that it's fake, but I personally have a problem with this picture. I have hiked to the bottom of Howick Falls myself when the water levels were relatively low, similar to in the picture. There is no way a monster that big could hide in such shallow water. Unless it's, um, it's much deeper at the base of the waterfall. But as you can see, the image shows the creature nearer to where the cameraman is standing. I've walked along the, that very edge, and you can actually see the rocks, stones on the floor of the lake. So I'm a little bit confused by this picture. However, I've also visited the falls after heavy rains. I would never hike down there after it, for it can be quite dangerous as the gushing water produces a heavy mist at the bottom, and the water level rises considerably. Now, if you told me that there was a monster hiding there after a heavy storm, it might seem more plausible, especially since the Inkanyamba is linked to storms. But I also want to point out that KwaZulu-Natal is known for its rock pythons. Pythons are spotted all the time in the area. Even mottled eels are also uh, are seen to be spotted in the area. Mottled eels can grow up to two meters. And I wonder if what eyewitnesses have actually seen is in fact an exceptionally large snake or an eel. But I'll leave that up to you, dear viewer. For now, thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.
You can also find me on Twitter. I will leave my handle below and in the description box. Until next time, goodbye.